Good day, I'm Renz Andre, I'm D. Guzman, and I'm going to discuss Pleuro Pneumonia. Pleuro Pneumonia is a lung disease characterized by inflammation of the lungs and caused by the bacterium Mycoplasma Mycodes. Fever, thirst, loss of appetite, and difficult breathing are signs of the disease. The United States and Euro Europe eradicate the disease near the end of the 19th century. Pleuro pneumonia is an economically significant respiratory disease that can affect pigs of all ages but primarily affect winners, growers, and finishers that the disease is caused by the bacterium Actinobacillus pleuronomaniae or APP. The main route of spread is aerosol by direct contact from pig to pig or airborne droplet traveling short distances. The disease can be divided into three forms, paracute, acute, and chronic. Where is the disease found? APP is carried in the tonsils and upper respiratory tract. It is transmitted short distances by droplet infection through nose-to-nose -nose contact. It is probably airborne for only 5 to 10 meters. The organism may affect the pig from winning through to slaughter, but usually the age is from 8 to 16 weeks. Transmission and spreading. Transmission is mainly by nose to nose contact, and many recovered pigs are carriers. Clinical signs develop within 4 to 12 hours in experimental infection. Aerosol transmission is limited. Public health risk. Although prim primarily a dis disease of growing pigs, a pneumonia infection may be fatal in adult or cause souls to abort. The course of the disease varies from paracute to chronic. Mor morbidity may reach 50% and in untreated cases, mortality is high. Survivors generally show reduced growth rate and persistent cough. Clinical sign, sudden death mortality, only sign is a bloody discharge from the nose. No symptom and more than 1% of such death post more, more times required. Deaths are often caused by a combination of heart failure and, and toxins. A short cup per half, one to three cup at a time. Different from the prolonged coughing of EP. Severe heavy breathing difficulties. Abdominal breathing rather than chest breathing. This abdominal breathing is used to differentiate clinically between APP and EP. Blowing of the ears. Badly affected pig are severely depressed. And this is the end of my part. Let Mr. Lishano to continue our report. Thank you. Good day, I'm Aaron Charles M. Belisiano and I'm going to continue our report about pleural pneumonia. Diagnosis Based on clinical signs and confirmed by serology or bacterial culture, an explosive disease onset is suggestive and when combined with clinical signs and gross lesions, often justifies a tentative diagnosis of pleural pneumonia. Concurrent infections, example with Pasture relay may complicate diagnosis. In herds that have been exposed and have developed at least a degree of immunity, the pattern may be less distinctive. Many serologic tests, including complement fixation and ELISA, have been used to confirm a herd diagnosis or detect carriers, but results are not always straightforward. A definitive Diagnosis depends on isolation and identification of a pleuromania, a gram-negative cocobacillus that requires B-factor NAD supplementation for growth, a staphylococcus aureus nurse colony can provide the necessary factor, 
PCR testing is also available and provides better sensitivity than direct culture. Prevention and management. Control programs for APP need to be tailored for individual herds in consultation with your veterinarian. General principles to follow include purchase pigs from one source with a similar health status, good ventilation in pig accommodation, no mixing of pigs post weaning, no overstocking pigs, prevent drafts in pig accommodation, herd health plan, review management practices to reduce stress factors, adoption of all in all out, production sites can effectively minimize disease outbreaks. Treatment. The most appropriate treatment protocol will vary from herd to herd so discuss with your veterinarian Antibiotic therapy is only effective in clinically affected pigs in the early stages of the disease when it can reduce mortality. Injection is the best option for sick pigs. Water medication is appropriate for treating a group of pigs that are still drinking. Feed medication is only suitable if pigs have a normal food and water intake. Administration of an anti-inflammatory medication can be beneficial to reduce fever and get pigs eating and drinking again. APP can develop antibiotic resistance and antibiotic therapy does not eliminate infection in a herd. Chronic infections in lung abscesses or tonsils of carrier pigs persist to form an important source of infection for other pigs. I'm Aaron Charles M. Feliciano. And Renz Andre M. De Guzman. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.